Hi, my name is Nat Kale. I'm the Phase 1 Municipal Stormwater Permit Writer for the Washington State Department of Ecology. In this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to use the new electronic annual reporting form online. This is the first video of four, and in this video we're going to talk about logging in and assigning new users. To get started, you need to log into Secure Access Washington. For this video, we're assuming that you already have a Secure Access Washington account, as well as a Water Quality Permitting Portal account, and that the two are associated together. That may mean, if you are a coordinator or a signer, that you've completed the electronic signature form. So make sure that you've done that before you go through this tutorial. Once you log into Secure Access Washington and you've gotten the portal connected, this is what you'll see. Click on Water Quality Permitting Portal, and that'll take you to this page. The link that you want is in the box on the right. Under Submit Data 4, you're going to click on Permit Submittals. Now, once you click on that, you'll get to this page. This is the Water Quality Web Submittal home page. There are two links across the top that we're interested in. The first tab is My Permits, and the second one is Assign Users. We're going to come back to Assign Users after we show you how to get to the annual report form. For now, click on My Permits. And this is what you'll see under My Permits. You can see I've got a list of a bunch of different municipal stormwater permittees. You'll probably only have one municipal stormwater permit listed. You might have multiple permits, uh, but they might be for construction or industrial. You should only have one municipal stormwater permit. At this point, I should point out, this is a test site, so this isn't live data. This is all fake data that I've put in. I'm going to pick on Clark County for most of my tutorials, but none of the information here was actually provided by Clark County. So what you'll want to do is find your municipal stormwater permit, and then click on the submittals link next to it. That'll take you to this page. Here you can see up at the top we've got this scheduled submittal search. Scheduled submittals are anything that you have to do on a regular basis. In this case, your annual report is due once a year, so it's a scheduled submittal. Down here you can see some information about the only scheduled submittal that we have in the system, such as the permit section, S9A. That's where, you'll talk, uh, that's where the permit talks about the annual report the name, the annual report of course, the submittal type is the same thing, when it's due, the current status, and then your actions. For right now we're going to click on the edit action. It's important to note it's always going to say edit even when you first come in. It won't say add or anything like that, but edit will let you answer new questions or change answers to existing questions. And this is what you'll see once you click on edit. It brings you to this page, the annual report submittal page. It shows who the permittee is, Clark County in this case, the submittal name, the permit section. It also gives you the permit number, the due date, and the permit type. So this is all of the information that you saw from the earlier screen. Additionally, you'll see these categories here. Uh, you'll be clicking into these categories to answer the questions, and we'll get into that in the next video. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to add new people to your annual report submittal. This will allow uh, folks other than yourself to go in and update questions. Go back to the Water Quality Web Submittal homepage by clicking that link in the upper left there. And then if you recall, last time we clicked on My Permits, this time we're going to click on Assign Users. And again, we have to choose which permit that we want. In this case, it's showing Clark County. Um, you'll notice it doesn't show the other permits uh, that I had listed before under submittals. That's because for those permits, I'm just a signer, not a coordinator. So in order for you to be able to assign new people to a permit, you have to be sure that you have the role of coordinator. And you'll choose that when you fill out your electronic signature form, the ESAF. If you have the coordinator role, you should see this action, Assign Users. Click on that. And you'll see I already have a few users associated with this. If you want to add a new one, it's as simple as filling in the items here and clicking on 
add. And that's it for our first video. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to fill in the annual report itself. If you have any questions about this, uh, you can always go to www.ecy.wa.gov um, and search Municipal Stormwater Annual Report. That should take you to a page with a link to this video, and from there you should also be able to get contact information as well. Thank you for listening.